my name is Ratsumi and welcome back to Renowned Explorers The Emperor's Challenge. Let's have a think about this. We've got one crew member that we need to still unlock as captain and we've never played with him, at least in released episodes. So we've got Wang Yu, obviously can't be the captain so we'll take him as a crew member. And we've got to think about what does Wang Yu do well? He's an engineer and a tactician. Tactician stacks really, really well with aggressive crews because it gives you that aggressive bonus going into an aggressive v aggressive makeup. Well, actually, whenever you go into an aggressive makeup, it gives you that tactical bonus. The tactical bonus, of course, being for the first couple of rounds, you have boosted stats. Uh, obviously, he's already got pretty high attack power. And then on top of all of that, he is mainly geared around... Uh, attack power, right? He's got fireworks, which is a cone directly in front of him. Uh, gives startled, lowering speech defense and the attack of the hit targets. It draws their aggro certainly. And then he's got big boom, which is basically a stun, right? With his speech power, it's not enough to really be effective as anything else. It is pretty much a one turn stun that lowers the attack power of the affected targets. On top of that, he has enrage for lowering armor at range two and his base attack is range two. He is 100% built around the idea of being aggressive. Devious if you desperately need it. But the thing is, I can't see, I can't foresee a build where I have a strong, aggressive, and devious, and I get to capitalize on his strengths. I've thought of things like putting Yvonne Lefebvre as the captain, but that wants me to tend entirely devious. It does synergize because Yvonne wants journalists and so does Government Secret. That wants journalists. You get secrets from Government Secrets and you get secret bonuses from Secret Report. I desperately wanted to make this work, especially considering she's a level 2 Beguiler and work the wits will give you a bunch of bonuses for having high level Beguilers, Tacticians and Quick Thinkers, right? And obviously Wang Yu is already a Tactician. I could not envision a way in which this works for a significant period of time and actually capitalizes upon its own strengths well. So instead, I've gone with a more understandable crew of taking Molly, Wang Yu, and Philippe Ben Susan. So the idea behind this is mainly in just stacking gold and going really far aggressive, but also Philippe has engineer and one level of rogue so obviously he's going to be stacking down the engineer line then wang yu is going to be stacking down the tactician line this does mean each of them is going to have basically a wasted stat right because philippe has rogue and molly is already going to go full level of rogue obviously uh because she's going to go full level of rogue um, I, don't, I don't need to explain that uh, competitive streak will allow her to give a level of athlete to someone else, so that'll be on Wang Yu, because he's already obviously a fighter. Uh, Philippe is really, really good in terms of an aggressive build, because he gets double strike later on, swift hands, but then on top of that, he gets miracle healer, which makes him a huge powerhouse if you can get it early enough. Competitive streak is 30 collect. If you can get that in the first mission, that is just a huge boost to your economy really, really early on in the game. And... Rogues and athletes have an armor reduction aura. This stacks. So Molly has an armor reduction aura of negative five. So does Philippe. And once Wang Yu gets one level of athlete, he'll also have an armor reduction of negative five in an AoE one around him. So if you're standing all three targets next to one character, and then Molly, for example, does flank and shank, which lowers the armor of a target. I can't remember exactly by how much. Or you know, maybe you hit him with a, an enrage, you'll end up with a target that has 40 less armor than they had previously. And a lot of the targets, especially in the Indonesian archipelago, are targets that were so difficult to take down aggressively because they were high armored rather than high health. Also, plus three collect per level of rogue means that Molly plus the one level of rogue on Philippe, that's not entirely wasted. It's going to give us a bit of collect. Not enough to really justify itself, but a bit. Obviously, we'll go to Saxon Kings because we're planning on this being an aggressive gold-based run. So let's go. Four minutes before I launch into the first mission? Hey, that's pretty damn quick. 
Oh, right. I know why it was so quick. Because I forgot to mention, this is the first uh, run that I will have recorded since the release of the results for Community Content Challenge number 71. Specifically, this is the one where I was just trying to get uh, a bunch of treasures to allot the treasures that the rest of the community gained. Uh, for that, it turns out we ended up with a gold medal as the community, and that has unlocked three different pieces of content. Number one is that Stockholm and Madrid have now split up, so there's an extra entourage store at the very start of the game. It's really exciting, and I can't wait to do a status build just to test that out. But then there's also a legendary trinket shop that can be gotten through the engineering tree. That is something I'm going to be testing out in this run. And finally, Transylvania and Hungary, I think, both got a couple new events in them. I don't know if I'm going to be able to visit either of those in the course of this episode. In the course of this episode, in the course of this run. But of course, that's the kind of place that I would want to go in a status build. And a status build will also be testing out the new entourage. Okay, time for adventure. Oh, damn, that's a lot of stuff nearby. Uh, okay, so this could be Diplomat, Beguiler, Quick Thinker. I'm not going to be able to diversify into any of those. Athlete, Naturalist, Survivalist, I'm not going to diversify into Athlete. And Diplomat, Archaeologist, I'm not going to diversify into any of those. Okay, so I may as well go there pretty much immediately. There's nothing I'm going to lose. But I'm going to check for zero links or likely zero links. Okay, this is wide open, so I'll go for... The one that actually opens the area a little more. Decline and stop them. Beat the ever-loving heck out of them. We'll be able to demonstrate a little bit about this armor reduction aura right now as well. So, for example, if we get all up in the grill with two characters, this character has two stacks of Outback Cutthroats, lowering his armor by 10. Oh, wow. You have a lot of health, friend. Monsieur. Is there anyone that actually... No, no one has the damage to just take one of them down immediately. Good lord. And here I thought... This was an impeccable plan. And here it is, getting pecked to death. They have a lot more health than I ever recall them having. Alright. Uh, up here, no zero links... Difficult to see, but no zero links. Difficult to see, but no zero links. Oh, right. One thing that I should have done. Uh, apologize. Apologize, sorry. Apologies for not having done this so far. Is turn capture cursor back on. So that when I demonstrate and say, oh, over here, you can actually see what I'm talking about. I've turned capture cursor off because I'm playing a lot of games with the controller recently. And you don't want capture cursor in those because sometimes the cursor just appears. Yes, a merchant. That's that's actually incredible. Okay, I'll go up because I want to try and see if I can scout where the supplies are yet. As you can see, we've got tactical preparation as an option because we have a level 1 tactician. We'll get level 2 tactical preparation as an option once we have a level 3 tactician. But for the moment, it's just plus 10 attack power and plus 10 speed power for the first two turns. Uh, if you just stand here, you can cut this target off for foreseeably the entire battle. And I'll have Wang Yu stand on this spot. See, even though he has range, they're obviously going to be able to make their way to him and hit him if he can hit them. He's range two. They have movement. Like, it'll happen. But if he's standing on this spot, he gets an extra... It's not even listed right now. Wow. Uh, but he gets an extra armor buff due to the fact that he's a fighter. Okay. None of these can be taken down instantly, it looks like. So I guess we'll try. Just take one down one at a time. Beautiful. Philippe is also the best target to take out someone by themselves. Because Philippe has grit. Which means that Philippe had a chance of just evading the attack entirely. At the same rate, no enemy at this point can one-shot any of my crew. So there's no real difference there. But it's best to just get in best practices, right? Okay, you take Engineer. You take Tactician. That's really good that he has Weapons Expert and Gorilla, by the way. Because you can give Offense, Defense, 
and formations using different uh, trinkets. And formations is definitely one that I'm going to want to give. Uh, and then you take rogue surprise. Yeah, you're not diversifying into athlete. We're giving that to Wang Yu. It's also worth noting, since Molly is a, uh, a scout, right? Even though she has high armor, since Molly is a scout, she already has 20% less chance to do athlete challenges than a fighter does. A fighter, by base, just gets an extra 20% bonus. And each perk level gives you another 20% bonus. So, at best, giving both levels of athlete to Molly Jones, she would be 20% better than Wang Yu is right now at athlete challenges. In fact, that's not even true. She'd be 15% better because he's got higher armor. And he's actually probably going to wear more armor than her because she's going to get boots. And boots are typically more about grit, right? She's a scout after all. Excavation tent. Ooh, we are not going to get a girl with lab coat and glasses. You're here to steal my secret? I want the secret. Give it to me. 31% chance Molly convince her. Molly? I don't even know what this is. I can't believe that. I've never actually seen that one before. To be fair, I rarely come here. Uh, Dangerous Engineer is actually probably going to be activated on Philippe at some point. By base, he will at least be a level 3 engineer. So that's plus 9 to his damage. If he strikes twice, that's plus, you know, 13.5. Mm, no, actually, I can't take that before I get the story for Molly. We will take Miracle Healer, obviously. Getting that super early is quite encouraging. If I didn't get Miracle Healer or Molly's one, I don't know if I would have continued. I, I think I may have re-rolled the run at that point. Both bedrooms and catacombs uh, have different challenges, but they give you worse treasure than the throne room does. So we'll just try and find the throne room. 55% chance to succeed. And now a 75% chance to pick up the actual thing I'm looking for. The king's bedroom with his mantle. Yay, we got the mantle. Nice. So this one actually has a bonus here which is to say it has a unique treasure bonus whereas both of the other ones are just normal options uh all of these kind of suck though all speakers game i have no speakers so i'm never taking this one five collects so right now that'd be 55 to more than that right 55 to 80 something i'm not going to calculate it but over the course of the run i would need to get five treasure hunts for it to parallel what i've gotten right now the thing is i am going to get treasure hunts later right because i'm going down the engineering line of research which means that i'll get a treasure hunt every time i find a treasure but i can't get that until at the very least after the first uh, after the second expedition because the engineering line doesn't even unlock until you've done two expeditions. So then, by that point, will the effect of having had this extra gold earlier be better than the extra small amount of money that I'd be getting from the treasure hunt? I think so. So I'll go for the snowballing effect here. <laughs> Not like that. Alright. Old bag, go for it. Survivalist gets a bonus to this chance, and Survivalist nails it. Well done, Survivalist. Okay, thank you very much. Can't focus anymore. She loses grit. That's not great. Treasure hunt? Since I am going to be waiting two expeditions before I do any study, I don't need the discovery token in order to go down the engineering line. Uh, secret is usually just good. Because status is really fucking strong. But I'm not doing a status run, am I? I'm doing... I'm doing a treasure hunt run. Yikes! Molly lost power. And there's so many zero links! Oh no! We're gonna lose supplies. Woe is me who had supplies. 
double back for free. Ooh. Okay, pick the best equipment. And Tactician Defense goes on Wang Yu. We also could have gotten Steam Engines Engineering from that. I think I would have preferred Steam Engines Engineering. Obviously, we'll fight them. We do have to be friendly or devious here, otherwise we get nothing. Uh, so obviously, we'll be devious. You can do that one. You can do that one. Beauty. Even with the negative 30 speech defense, it won't be able to one-shot any of us. And we want devious resolves more than we want friendly resolves, because friendly resolves give you speech and speech defense, whereas devious resolves give you speech power and plus five grit. Grit is actually good. Uh, yeah, I'll take two more hunger just to get that one gold there. I'll put attack on Molly to try and even her out a little. Spend a day mining, sure. I was going to starve there anyway, so it's fine. Philip loses grit. Yeah, fair enough. Philippe, rather. Yay! Strong friend. Great. So we get to resolve aggressive against Tommy, and as a result of resolving aggressive against Tommy... We're going to be able to get plus one attack on all of our characters. And that's just good. All right, uh, all right, I'm just going to test this out. Okay, never mind. I'd have to do too much setup to make that actually... Hang on. Would I have to do too much setup? Yeah, it still wouldn't do enough damage to really justify itself. Oh, well. Thankfully, we've got this huge patch that's going to be really difficult for them to get past in the center. So I can pretty much just wipe out the crew on my side. And then refocus. Also, wowzers, that's actually going to be really handy. That's going to draw aggro onto Wang Yu. All three of them might be able to get in position to hit Wang Yu unless I move one person up. So, shit, I'll just move one person up, I guess. Uh, I won't move Philippe into danger because he's lower on spirit right now. Also lower Tommy's attack even further. So he's got negative 65 attack right now. As a result of having the negative 25 from... Sorry, negative 50% from being startled and negative 25 from being... Uh, there we go. Terrified. So he's actually 75% lower. Uh, if I move backwards, I think I can actually just take you out this turn. Yeah. Beauty. Aggressive resolve is aggressive resolved. Thank you for the attack on all of my minions. Right. This was a point of contention the last time I attempted this run that I didn't show anyone because it went horribly wrong and also I was bad. Uh... I I went for tracking the treasure near the dangerous cliffs. And I hit the chance. But then I didn't get the treasure I was supposed to get. I was looking for the Heliodor, and I did not get the Heliodor. I'm pretty sure this is the Heliodor option. No, this is the Saxon... Oh, no, it is the Saxon gold horse option. Right, that is the one that I wanted. But yeah, I got, I got like, the Sword of Justice instead, which was the worst case scenario... Please succeed, please succeed. Now, I've got a 25% chance to not get the thing that I want here. You can see, 75% chance for the Saxon Golden Horse, and, you know, 26% chance, but they're rounding up for stuff that I don't want. Golden Horse! And we actually got the... Yay! Plus one collect at the end of each expedition for each level of rogue. We have four levels of rogue, so that's plus four collect right now. And then ongoing, it'll be like plus five, plus six. Like, it's actually very reasonable. Okay. Apart from the one little balls up there for a while, which was uh, the the thing with the thing. You, you know what I'm talking. The thing with the girl who was crying, the lab coat in the 
we were going to steal the secrets. And that was only a 31% chance. So I can't exactly begrudge the fact that I didn't succeed a 31% chance roll. I mean, I can, but I won't. I'm bigger than that. Uh, no research is spent because I want all of my research to be super cheap when I go down the engineering line. You can see, obviously, we're going to want plus two collect when a rogue succeeds and when an engineer succeeds. Because she's already a plus three rogue. And he's already a plus two engineer. And plus three is really easy to come across for him. And we also want effective equipment. And also we want improved cargo. And also we want hidden compartments. And also we want the new secret shop. So this whole tree is just delicious. As well as the fact that we'll get a tool to work on some of the skills that we don't have just by unlocking it. Unfortunately, we have to wait a while before we can even do that. So now we have Stockholm Stojet. Oh, what? Why aren't they selling all of the things? I am truly confused. And also, you can see the characters that aren't unlocked. Isn't that fucking ridiculous? Yeah. I'm very happy. Okay. Uh, these are also new. I have not even seen these ones. Some Entourage fellows uh, that give you double original campaign and secret tokens from Insight. So I imagine not double what your bonus is. Like if you've got like Ana super fucking stacked, right? Like it's, or like Agatha super stacked. You're not going to get double the 10 or so study tokens that they would typically get. I think you'll just get three plus three and then the bonus on top, right? When an engineer studies, for example, you get three. Sorry, when a scientist studies, you get three and then you get another three on top. That is still cool, though. Especially if you end up doubling, uh, like, a super buff secret or treasure hunt token. But other than that, you can just see we've got all of these fellows about. Isn't that incredible? Then move over to Madrid's palace, and we have all of the different resolves. Isn't that fucking insane? So I can just choose plus one campaign plus one collect, and plus one study for resolving aggressive. And then at the very end, you get fucking discovery secrets and treasure hunts for resolving in an attitude of your choice. Are you kidding me? That makes status runs so good. It even makes status hybrid runs so good. I'm very excited. I'm an excitable boy about the whole thing. Uh, I think I'm still just going to go with stacking merchants, especially because I want Molly's activated uh, crew story in the next area. That said, I definitely want to pick up also Amelie the Decorated because it will be a fair amount of campaign for me. It will probably pay for itself within one area. It's also worth noting, obviously, the area I'm going to want to go to is Caribbean Island, right? Nature, we don't have a level of athlete yet. That's actually a problem. We were going to have a level of athlete, but we don't have one yet. If I give a machete to Wang Yu, we'll be fine, though. Uh, obviously, we've already got Engineer and Rogue, so all of those technique challenges are taken care of. Uh, we will need a level of Survivalist, likely on Philippe, because he's already a... Wait a second, Survivalist pairs with... Huh, <laughs> shit. Survivalist pairs with Grit, right? not speech defense it's grit i think i keep making this this mistake i think survivalist pairs with grit so i actually give that to molly i think <laughs> shit i really ought to know this by now you ought to know by now <sighs> no level of uh, naturalist though which is a shame Although, I could pick up a level of naturalist by going for the chemistry here. That's stupid. I'm stupid. That's, that's stupid. Don't do that, Ryan. That's dumb. That's dumb and stupid. It is both. And then the compass will go on Molly. Right? Ugh! I really wish there was a wiki for things like this. I really do. 
because there are guides, but the guides don't really tell you too much about things like this. Ah uh, ha ha. Hmm. Yeah, I've I I have no clue. Wits, cultural, no, no, no. Okay, they don't really say that much. Survivalist is nature. So we have four characters that start with survivalist. We've got Kiwi and Padrino, who are both in the scout tier. Charles and Earl. Enge uh, sorry, diplomat and engineer, respectively. Speaker and engineer, rather. So I guess what that means is the survivalist should be on a rogue. Right? Let's actually have a look at what it gives to her. It gives plus three grit. It has to be a rogue thing. I can't believe I keep putting it on fucking engineers. I'm so dumb. And none of you told me. So you're all as dumb as me. <laughs> Why didn't no one tell me? That's okay. I have had people tell me recently that I was dumb for it's a completely different reason. So, uh... I guess maybe I take a level of survivalist. Naturalist is too many levels deep. I won't even be able to unlock that. So get that out of my mind. We definitely want Amelie. These now cost 150 rather than 100. But you do get all three of them. So potato, potato. You know what I'm saying? Now I'll go merchant and then the other merchant. Oh, that's a spell. Spicy meatball of money right there. I do eventually want Tactician's Notes on Wang Yu. Adjacent allies gain plus 15% attack. Especially considering he's range 2. They're both range 1. They're going to stand next to a target and he will stand behind them. It will work so often. I think right now, I'll just upgrade everyone's armor. You obviously need the memento, like definitely. If, wait, what? What did I just do? Did I fuck up? She gets boots. She gets boots. Whoops. Maybe it's not always correct to just give boots to the scouts. Maybe some scouts demand things that aren't boots. Maybe I'm just dumb. No, it can't be that. It's definitely. All right, uh, final thing I want to do. Wang Yu is the only person with an AoE range, so I'll give him good gloves as an upgrade. In gold rungs, you want to spend your gold quite readily. So in the next episode, we're going to be going over to the Cabare uh, Cab Caberean. That's, that's the new name for those islands, by the way. I will never refer to them as anything except... So next episode, we're going to go to the Caribbean Islands. My name has been Rhapsody, the name of the game has been renowned explorers i almost choked on my own breathing in <laughs> has been renowned explorers the emperor's challenge hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves and hopefully we'll see you next time